Yeah, uh, the second hardest red pill for me to swallow was, <clears throat> well, the first red pill, the hardest one to swallow is the fact that these women aren't going to love you unconditionally like you are going to, like you love them. Men and women love different from one another. That's why it's beneficial for men not even to fall in love. But that's not the hard, that's the hardest red pill. I don't want to talk about that one. I'll talk about what I think is the second hardest red pill to swallow, and that's the fact that these women are just as unfaithful as men are, that meaning that they cheat. If, you know, think about how shocked we all were when we heard that women like sex every bit as much as men do, if not more. If that's true, then they got to cheat on their man every bit as much as men cheat on women, if not more. If they like sex every bit as much, if not more. I mean, that makes sense. I mean, girls night out is nothing more than girls going out cheating on their man and their girlfriends covering for them. That's all that is. That's all it is. I mean, the guy's not going to be suspicious if the girl is out with his girlfriend, with her girlfriends, you know, when he's not able to reach her, when she's, you know, um, doing hanky and panky with Frankie. <clears throat> He ain't suspicious because, oh, she's with her girls. Oh, I ain't worried about it. If he calls and she says, I was with my girlfriend and we was doing this. Or so-and-so left her car. So you know how they come up with them stories, man. That's all it is, is them covering for each other. So I remember uh, <clears throat> there was a girl that I was dating when I was in high school. Real pretty mulatto chick, right? And she was riding a cock carousel. She was riding it when I met her. She had some 23-year-old boyfriend. She was 17. She, she No, she might have been. She was 16. I was 17. And she was, you know, fooling around, cheating on that dude with me. Then she started cheating on me with some other dude, just riding the carousel. Eventually, she ended up getting the gift that keeps on giving. And uh, But I was off the carousel by that, by that, at that point. So, you know, <clears throat> lucky me. But still, I remember she had a girlfriend, and I was trying to, get at her girlfriend under her nose and the girlfriend she didn't mess with me but she didn't tell the girl and I remember thinking you know that chick's all right for not saying that no because she knew that girl was messing around on me so she didn't really care she didn't really get involved but she wasn't it wasn't because she had allegiance to me thinking that I was a cool dude and I don't want to tell on him no she had allegiance to the girl and didn't want to tell on her so that, that's how that goes. And then I look at, you know, all the stories my buddies tell me about how they girls are cheating. I remember going to TGI Fridays on happy hour with my cousin. And he was married at the time. And, and he met about three women that night. And they talked in code. And they basically said, you know, I'm married. You're married. We ought to mess with each other so that we ain't got to worry about, you know, messing our home front up. That's basically what I got. I can't remember exactly how they worded it. But they talked in a way to where that was it was figured out. Like, I noticed that a lot of a lot of women don't want to mess around with men that don't that aren't in other relationships. So the guy doesn't get needy and clean. He's got some other stuff going on outside that he can tend to to where he don't gotta mess up, like I said, what she's got going on on the home front. So Yeah, that's really hard. That was hard for me to understand that women are, you know, every bit as unfaithful as men. Because I grew up in a house where my mother wasn't unfaithful at all, and my father was, so that that I was embedded and instilled from the very beginning, just what I saw in my household growing up, that you know women are not unfaithful, it's the men, and to get that dose of reality, and it just <clears throat> it was right underneath your nose the whole time. It's like a boxer getting hit with them smelling salts. <laughs> Where they put the smelling salts under his nose to wake him up. That that's kind of what this red pill knowledge gives you. It's not. It, it it's a good feeling. It's a great feeling. But it's also, it, it's it it to me. I find it to be somewhat disheartening, to know that you know. You put stock and faith in these women being these you know creatures that are, sugar and spice and everything nice, and then when you find out about their true nature, man, they're just creatures, man. I opt out of the game, man. I'm not playing no more.